Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Subhash Chandran with you. In this video, let's try to understand about the career opportunity as a project engineer. Let's understand what does project engineers do, what are the opportunities available and what is the qualification required and what is the nature of job for project engineers. So without wasting your time, let's get into the subject. So let's try to understand what is project engineering. Project engineering is a series of actions which are to be necessarily taken in order to complete the given task. This task either could be a project or it could be a compilation of activities. So project engineers takes necessary steps in order to complete a given project. The set of tasks either could be a self-initiative meeting or resource allocations or hiring a right person and hiring uh, licenses and bringing the resources like as computers or tables or whatever activities or whatever actions needs to be taken and planning the schedule, monitoring the schedule, controlling the activities, motivating the activities and getting the job done to the delivery to the client. So project engineers works from the start to the end. Unlike discipline engineers who are focused only on to their respective deliverables, say for an example process, they focus on to the process deliverables, piping, they focus on to the piping deliverables, but they get into the details. But project engineers need not to get into the details in depth of the design activities or any other field activities, but they should have a overall understanding about how to start the activity how long this will take and what are the minimum resources required, what are the licenses required, what are the ups and downs of the uh, deliverable preparation to the delivery. So all these things project engineer should have a knowledge about it. And moreover, project engineers should be good at maintaining the time, maintaining the given deadline. So they should have a plan, they should have a schedule, they should properly follow the schedule. You can follow either weekly or monthly or bi-weekly. So project engineer should have a control of the preparation or control of the delivery of a project. If you don't deliver on time, that will give you a bad name for a project engineers and then it will be a black mark for the company. Unlike discipline engineers actually, project engineers works directly with the management. So they will get into a tremendous pressure in order to deliver the projects. But discipline engineers are those who are, have to focus on to a particular de delivery. Once the delivery is done, their activities are done. So this is known as project engineering. Now let's understand about the career opportunities for project engineers. Project engineers are specialized with respect to an industries. Say for an example, automobiles and oil and gas. A project engineer who has an experience from automobile will not be able to work in oil and gas because the activities are different. The execution of the projects are different. So definitely project engineers who are specialized with respect to a particular industry will get a lot of opportunities because in every industry you will find so many projects. All these projects needs to be ex executed with the help of project engineers. So project engineers has tremendous opportunities across the world, not only in India and across the world. This is one of the most wanted job in European sectors and UK and USA sectors. Because project engineers is a multi-dynamic uh, job. You are not only specialized in one particular thing actually. You should have a specialization in the project engineering and at the same time you should have an awareness about all other disciplines. That is not simply easy for others actually. That's one of the reason why project engineering is not easy compared to other disciplinary activities. So this is about the career opportunities. Now let's understand about the remuneration of project engineers. Project engineers always get higher salary compared to discipline engineers. Why is it so? Because they work directly under the lens of management. Unlike discipline engineers who works under the particular lead, Unless the lead goes to the management and share about the performance of a particular candidate, the management will never come to know about a particular guy. But this is not the case in project engineers. 
Project engineers, since they are directly reporting to the management day in and day out, the management knows your performance. If you are really performing, if you are really hardworking, if you are really contributing, you will get your remuneration on time. You will get your appraisal on time. This is one of the greatest advantage of project engineering. If you are a capable person, if you are a dynamic person, your growth is unlimited because you are always all the time under the lens of the management. So as far as the remuneration and the growth is concerned, project engineers has always has an upper hand. Now let's understand about the work pressure as a project engineer. As a project engineer, a project engineer has to face three friends. At one side, they have to face the client and in the second side, they have to face their own management and the third side, they have to face the disciplines. So project engineer has to manage the three teams in order to execute the project. And also they have to meet the expectation of the three teams. Otherwise, they will not be able to drive the project within a given deadline. So project engineers generally goes through tremendous amount of stress and tremendous amount of work pressure because their activities are so dynamic. If somebody requests uh, for any meeting or any delay analysis, immediately they have to step in and take an action, prepare a format and put the data in and submit to the client. This is not an easy task. This is not like preparing a piping layout or preparing a PNID where you only have to focus on a particular drawing. The dynamics in project engineering is so high compared to other disciplines. So generally, project engineers has a lot of work pressure compared to other disciplines. At the same time, the moment they complete the job, they will get a lot of appreciation and they will get a lot of job satisfaction. What is the greatest advantage of project engineering? One of the greatest advantage I see as a project engineer is this is the gateway to become a project management. Becoming a project management is an another gateway to become a part of the higher management. If you become a part of your higher management, you can become a CEO of the company. You can become a uh, head of the particular divisions or head of the state or head of the uh, country. So you will find tremendous amount of opportunities in the higher level. So project engineering paves way for such big opportunities. This is not for discipline engineers. So discipline engineers generally they move only up to the HOD or they will move only up to the lead engineers. But project engineers can grow to any extent. So this is one of the greatest advantage I could see as a project engineer. So in this video, we have seen what is project engineering, what does project engineers do, what are their remunerations and growth and what is the greatest advantage of project engineering and what are the work pressure for project engineers. I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.